of you have requested Valentine's look, so I decided to do a purple one for you today. And on top of that, many many of you have requested a simple smoky eye. So this is as simple as it gets. What you need is a purple eyeshadow, one that is very blendable. This happens to be the one um, from the Total Intensity line from Prestige. It's called Addiction. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful, um, there's a dupe, it's a dupe for one of Kat Von D's purple colors. But any purple color you have, if you have the Vice palette, you have a great purple color. If you have the Kat Von D Spellbinding palette, you have a great purple color. If you have Wet n Wild's Petal, P Petal Pusher, the 8-pan palette, you have a great purple color. You need a mid-tone mid purple. Now, the only colors on my eyes at all are this, so it's on my lid, wet, and in my crease. Okay, and then I did use the matte color from the Physician's Formula Canyon Classics, the little quad. I used this matte cream color for my brow bone. That is the only colors on my eyes, period. Okay, so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, just keep watching. Okay, girl, so you already see how to do this easy smoke eye you've ever done. Okay, what you're going to need is literally three brushes. I've already showed you all that. So we're going to take the... Um, Naked 3 brush, the flat end, I'm going to spray it with Max Fix Plus, or MAC Fix Plus, I always say Max. And then we're going to take the Total Intensity in the color Addiction. I already showed you this, it's beautiful, but any purple color you have will do. Okay, and you're going to kind of get that wet brush in that product. And I usually use one side for wet and one side for dry, just makes it easier, okay? Okay, then we're just going to start patting that all over the lid. Okay, then we're going to turn that brush over and get your, um, your other f uh, fluffy crease brush that's kind of thinner than usual. I, I've explained all that. Okay, then we're going to go into the powder side, the, the side we left dry. We're going to create a little bit of an outer V, like I've showed y'all, and then just start going in. Okay, and then we're just going to build up the color, take it all the way in. We're going to build up that color as high as you want it. I'm going to go pretty high because I have hooded eyes. You know, I want it to peek out. But if you don't have hooded eyes, you don't have to go this far. Um, and then you just... It doesn't need to be anything hard on the outer line, but you do need to kind of create one. Okay, then I'm just going to go in to highlight my brow bone with the Canyon Classics in this cream color. I'm going to highlight that. Okay, bring a little bit of it into this inner corner. corner. Okay, girls, I want off camera to do my um, wing liner, which I do have a video coming on, so don't, um, never fear. But I forgot to show y'all the bottom lash line, which is kind of important with the smoky eye. So you're going to take a purple liner and go along that lash line. Okay, there you go. Now, that's just our base, so... But you see it's in the waterline, it's on the lash line. I'm even going to go all the way on the inside of that tear duct. The same, um, the same flat shader brush. Make sure it has it, a tip to it. They all do. Um, go into the shadow again and start putting that on your bottom lash line. Okay, girls, here's the final look. And I just had realized that I didn't even have my eyebrows done in the intro. Um, so, sorry about that. I didn't do my eyebrows, so the intro was eyebrowless, or what very little eyebrows I have. So, I went off camera, did my mascara pretty thickly, um, and did uh, eyebrows and the rest of my face. So... Um, that is the completed look. I hope you like it. If you try it and have any questions, please let me know. This is by far the easiest smoke I've ever found to find one color. And again, it needs to be a color with some shimmer in it that is beautifully blendable. But you could go drugstore with this. The, um, any of the Wet n Wild 8-pan or 3-pan, um, color icon, uh, let's see if I have one here. Probably don't. I don't. But any of those pans, they have colors in there that are beautifully blendable. So you could just use one of those colors. You could use a blue. You could use a purple. You could use a green. You could use a, a, a gunmetal gray or black if you're feeling bold enough. So 
I'm just teaching you coloration and technique, okay? So let me know if you have any questions below. Um, also, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's like a huge bat on the back and lets me know you like what you see and you'd like to come back and see more. I hope that you all are having a great day and that's filled with only the beautiful things. Thank you for watching, girls. Bye.